China is the hometown of tea, and Chinese have planted tea leaf trees for thousands of years. In Jinhua, a village of Meitang County of southwestern China's Guizhou province, tea planting over recent years has brought great changes to the lives of local villagers. It has also injected vitality into a land which was once an old revolutionary base area. The Jinhua village produces and sells more than 350 tonnes of tea leaves each year. Located in Guizhou province, the village spans more than 453 hectares and enjoys warm weathers and high altitudes. China is the largest producer of tea leaves on the planet, and this village alone has already lifted more than 2,500 people out of poverty. The Jinhua village, which is nestled in the Yunnan Guizhou Plateau, has good natural conditions ideal for growing tea. However, due to restrictions created by economic development, the tea industry in the village started relatively late. It was only several short years ago that Maytown County decided to make good use of its resources and further support the tea industry. Tea planting in Maytown County used to be done on private gardens. However, this once scattered industry has now become highly concentrated in a single area. The tea industry has not only helped pull the villagers out of poverty, but has also boosted the local tourism industry. Villagers who have long dealt with tea now provide bed and breakfast accommodations, run restaurants, and sell handmade products, which have attracted tourists from across the country. Andrew Qin, who used to work in a tea garden, is now quite good at making hemp sandals, which are both fashionable and durable. Speaking of hemp sandals, Andrew Chin recalled the story of the Long March, where Red Army soldiers in straw sandals climbed snow mountains and crossed grasslands. It was a hard time and straw was the only resource available to make sandals. But now handmade sandals have become commercial products, putting cash in the pockets of local villagers. <laughs> Today, straw sandals have become a symbol of hard times, and the Long March spirit has been passed down from generation to generation in Jinhua village. The tea industry has changed Jinhua from a traditional village to a sightseeing destination. For example, the Rainbow Tribe is a very creative eco-park in the village. Rich coloured houses quietly sit at the end of the gentle slope of the tea garden. With their back against the hills, these houses stand out from a sea of green tea trees, just like a watercolour painting. In the Rainbow Tribe Ego Park, you can relax in a milk tea bar, go shopping and enjoy a feast of local cuisine. The sea of cars outside the Ego Park demonstrates how popular it has become. The B&B industry in Jinhua village offers a scenic tranquil getaway. And if you're a tea enthusiast, it makes the experience even better. The industry has brought life into the village and money into the pockets of local tenants. But it hasn't just increased their average income, it's also brought more colour into their day-to-day -day lives.